I can tell when a teacher is there to support me when they're always asking me questions and always just like acting like they truly care. See, my teachers do have fairly high expectations, so if I really messed up, they they're often surprised. They talk to me about it and stuff. They don't want me to to get by. I like when they like give you like feedback that's like. Like, that's not, like, I hate the feedback that's, like, super, super nice, and I like when they, like, tell you, like, like straight up, like, okay, yes. work on this, improve this. Like, wh whenever anyone um, tries to make, like, you better, like, imp like, improve, like, anything that's going on. Like, I don't really like, like, sometimes, like, I appreciate getting hundreds and stuff like that, but I like to know how I can do better, and I think that's just because of my competitive side that I want to know how I can improve, you know what I mean? When they seem genuinely interested in what I have to say or asking questions after class, did you understand this or how did you feel about this? Um, and also when they're honest with grades and stuff, they tell me what I need to work on. In English class last year, we wrote an essay, we wrote several essays, and the first time we got the essay back I had like a D or a C and you know comments written all over it and essays are usually the things that I'm better at so um, but the comments were really great and I learned a ton and um, next time I got a C or D I'd get really excited because I knew I was going to learn a lot from you know my teacher was being honest with my work and to, you know really wanted me to learn something from it. I'll say that if I'm like an overachiever I don't think I've always been that way. I think probably in like seventh or eighth grade, there was one teacher that made me like really start to realize that I had like a lot more potential than I thought I did. And so that made me want to try even harder and stuff. Um, so like when we talk about student engagement and putting students more involved in their own learning, it's not, it's not a plug and play kind of situation. Like there's mentorship and there's a lot of thought that has to go into structuring that environment so that it's safe and productive. Last year in algebra we did like students had to teach their own lesson to the class. And like in, even if you felt like, I don't know, it kind of it like makes you kind of like come out of your comfort zone and like you have to make the initiative to like teach something and act like you're 100% confident on it even if you're not really or like. It's experience. I think part of it's just getting a sense of, of finding that sweet spot between teacher expectation and, and, and meaning for students and what does community mean to them. Um, how do they define their own expectations. Um. <laughs> Yeah, but now it's just one of the